Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hunter C, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. This iron volcano is in its last breath before it goes dormant. So, uh, uh, while I waited for that, I upgraded quite a bit of, uh, of wiring. So, now all here down to, uh, to here. We have heavy watt conductive wire and I had to uh, refine a bit more iron ore to get that done. But today we should be able to start fixing up this setup here and seeing that uh, the steam is quite hot in here. It's possible that when we break this open, the crude oil will evaporate and I think turn to uh, to sour gas. Um, and break this seal here. Uh, but we will see. Um, in that case, we probably need a new, um, a new seal here. Um, once we manage to cool the the interior down a bit, in order for uh, uh, for the new seal not to evaporate again. Okay, um, it is dormant, so let's. Get this doing. Um, we have to make sure that we are not actually requiring any iron because I do not want them to touch this really hot iron. This one only 800 degrees. Uh, this uh, 17 ton pile. 1200 degree and then uh, 800 again over here so we will see what happens here okay the uh Crude oil turned to uh, petroleum. Um, some of the heat is transferred out, and we can see the uh, the temperatures still going going up. So. Until we reach temperatures at around um, uh, 275 degrees, I do not even need to think uh, about placing a pump in here to, to empty this out. Um, we can construct this uh, no. well let's let's wait in let's first pump out the uh, steam and the polluted oxygen from down here then we can break this and replace it with uh, uh, heavy watt uh, conductive joint plate and then fill in the rest so now the temperatures are going down and up and down so it's, it's a bit uh, fluctuating uh, what I also did um, I used all the the iron that was here on the on the rail to refine more steel and now we have quite a bit of bunker doors here at the top. We also extended the, the ladders a bit here to the to the side. 
still not entirely done. Also the uh, the other side. And then down here uh, we can then start to uh, uh, clean out this space here to make room for uh, solar panels and uh, other stuff that we need there on top. Until now the seal holds. Temperature here is going up. Um, so yeah, that will evaporate uh, soon. 539 degrees. We're getting to that point. And then when this open, we should see faster cooling because uh, out here it's it's cooler, and you can even see here the the heat is is transferred. So. Construct this anyway. And once we have broken this seal, we can also break this one. Yeah, now we have sour gas. And a lot of melting going on here. This in turn should help cooling this this uh, uh, pool down here, uh, which currently sits at 28 degrees. Uh, previously, it was uh, 30 something. Let's let's also break this one. Um, while down here, we can replace these wires. hot in uh, in the uh, atmosphere gently and we need a plumbing station here so we can put in a new one and where is the heavy one the joint plate one here, one there. All right, the temperatures are going down. We will 
take the the wool and make barbecue out of it. I still have not yet got around to create a wool farm. Um, but it's only a matter of time for us to do that. Why do they always want to create these wires out of lead? This is made out of lead. That's no good. Now we are down to 24 degrees. We're still sitting around 500 degrees. Still too, uh, too hot to think about pumping out anything. This one sits dormant for the next 20, uh, 40, 42 cycles, so we have a bit of, uh, of time um, to do this. And in here we shall place in a bit more, more water. should help with the cooling it will produce more um, more steam but the steam we can pump out given that we have reached low enough temperatures. A bit of, uh, of steel to create a pump and then also for the uh, uh, shipping setup that we need back here. Okay, you'll see the, uh, the water 
evaporated, evaporated instantly. So that will still take a bit of time. And let's see if we can produce a bit more steel up here. We have iron sitting here. So the uh, auto sweeper will automatically fill it in and the duplicates do not get any dumb ideas to grab iron from uh, down there um, but I think anyway they would uh, pick up the iron closest but with duplicates you never know what bright ideas they might have so now we are uh, above 400 degrees, but below 500. So um, that has some some effect. Steam outside is considerably considerably cooler. We need to get that to about 200 degrees and we can uh, place a new seal here maybe this time uh, using a bit of uh, petroleum that of crude oil does not really matter that much below 400 Still a bit too toasty for them to get the work really done. But other than that, we are doing great. It's cool and can still cool. So uh, this setup does the job. Probably we cannot really add more uh, industry to it for cooling so we will have to construct a second cooling setup up here um, for the, the space industries where are we at 450 uh, We are slowly getting there. Got 900 kilograms of uh, uh, steel ready. Should have the steel to uh, to uh, uh, finish the thing that we need here.
but cooling certainly will take a bit more time and while I wait for that uh, we can close this episode and then next time um, we will really uh, uh, start fixing this problem down here so hope you enjoyed this episode which was a bit hectic um, and join me uh, next time for more oxygen not included see you then goodbye